now we're planning for Black Friday and it literally comes like, sometimes it comes like buses. You don't see them for ages, but they come one after the other. And that is what this seasonal activity out. It's like for a long time, you're not going to see a bus, but now they're all going to come and you've got to make sure that you're appealing to the right audience. So I would say plan ahead with your content because then at least then you know what's coming up. So have a content calendar in place. If we can, we'll try and get some tips or some links to some content calendars to share with you, uh, which will be on our YouTube link. So if you have any ideas with that, Fiona, do let us know. The final thing is, and this is more on a personal level, what is the best example of like a seasonal paid social campaign you've seen either recently or in the past? I mean, most of my ads are just the things that I Google for clients that I've seen, to be honest. Um, yeah, I'll know. put you on the spot there. Yeah. Well, let, let me change it. Let me change that. <laughs> okay, what's your favorite Christmas ad campaign or marketing campaign you've seen in general? It doesn't have to be on social media. Um, I really hate Guinness, but I really think the adverts are wholesome. <laughs> is it AMV? That ha- is, is that that's the agency? I think is it AM? I can't remember what the agency name is, but they have the um, Diageo account, and Guinness is yeah. part of Diageo. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, and I've always loved the Guinness adverts, but I think my favorite Christmas advert or seasonal advert. Well, it's it's between it's between two. It's Aldi taking the the out of John Lewis. <laughs> so the minute John Lewis come out with an advert, then Aldi do their own version of it. Uh, I think that's hilarious, especially when they did the one on the moon. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that was the best one. And I mean, how can you not love the, I mean, it's not Christmas until you see the Coca-Cola advert. To me, it's like, actually, not until I see that advert, can I get in the Christmas mood? I don't even start buying Christmas presents until I see an advert, even if it's like Christmas. <laughs> not until I see the advert. It's not, I can't get in the Christmas mood. A mince pie will not cross your yeah, lips no, until that advert's no, crossed the There's going to be screen. no Christmas festives until... <laughs> I see the holidays are coming advert from Coca-Cola. I'll sing it to you afterwards. Oh, thanks. It's all right. Um, do you ever take part in the competition? Well, that uh, the one competition for last Christmas. Like if you hear it in a supermarket, you've got that set you're out. The idea is to get through Christmas without hearing Wham singing last Christmas. I've heard them playing it on the radio, but just forget to partake. You know, a bit like when people say, you've just lost the game. Yeah. Yeah, I think we might do that for jokes this year as an agency and see who lasts the most. But I don't really listen to the radio, so I know it's going to happen in a supermarket somewhere. I'm going to be like, oh, God, damn you, Wham. Um, But, yeah, just a little bit of fun there. So is there any final elements you want to share or cover to our audience? I think as long as you know why you're running Black Friday campaigns and you're going to maximise the amount of learnings that you can take from it and – don't be stupid with cutting off all your spending if it is something bringing you revenue and only really push stuff out there as ads that you genuinely find useful. Mm-hmm. We'll only share content that people can take value from to the people that are actually going to benefit from the product. Yeah, I, I, I agree with that sentiment. I could not put that any better. So again, Fiona, thank you for ha- you know, joining us on Bubble Pod. I appreciate all the time you've given us. Um, if you haven't, you know, followed Fiona already, do check her out on LinkedIn. Do follow the company post. I do. I get a lot of entertainment and good content from it. So check out her agency. A little bit of a plug there for you. Um, and to our listeners, thank you for listening. Don't forget to like, follow, subscribe. If you have any specific questions about seasonal advertising and you want to come up to us again, use our hashtag AskBubble, hashtag Mr. Bubble and hashtag Bubble Pod, or just reach out to us or comment on our YouTube video or give us feedback through our website, which is www.bubblepod.co.uk. And as always, thank you for listening and we'll catch you on the next episode shortly. 